Hello, I'm Dr. Gordon Green, and I'm here today to talk to you about astigmatism. Astigmatism is um, when the eye itself is not perfectly round. We compare a football, which is when the, we all know what American football looks like, when it's, when it's got a long curvature and a short curvature, and we think of a basketball or a baseball or any other round ball as being perfectly spherical. The cornea is the, is the main refractive surface of the eye, and that's most often where astigmatism occurs. It's whenever the cornea is not perfectly round or perfectly spherical. So we get a, a curvature that's around the cornea that's shorter this way, and then also the other way it's longer, like kind of flatter. And those two curvatures kind of act as two separate lenses, which then focus the light differently on the back of the eye. And I like to say, if, to, to describe it like focusing light on a, on a film projection screen, that when that light is, is perfectly focused, it's there whenever that, whenever, if we have astigmatism, some of that light is being focused in front of that screen and some of it's being focused in back, which then results in blur to that image. Astigmatism is related to blur as we've already spoken to. It can be related to um, shadowy double vision. It can be related to headaches and eye strain. Um, we most often develop astigmatism whenever we're younger, which can be either when we're really little, like you know, before five years of age, it can be there, which is one of the important reasons to have an eye exam when we're little. And then it can also develop as we become an adult in our late teens and 20s. It is something that when we're younger, we don't know about it and we just tend to live that way. But then when we're older, it tends to cause the headaches and eye strain and blurry vision and difficulty doing the tasks that we need to do every day. We correct astigmatism most often with glasses and contacts it can easily be also corrected with refractive surgery in most cases. 